y'all what's up it's alicia welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a pack with me video packing up my entire apartment because if you guys don't know by now i am moving to houston my hometown i'm super excited about it but i have very little time like little as in a couple of days to get my apartment um packed and honestly i don't think that it will be too bad because i only have two bedrooms and then of course like the kitchen living room area so i don't think it'll be too bad um to pack this go round. If you guys watched my moving vlogs whenever I moved in this apartment back in January, it was a little bit more of a hassle because I was moving from a really big space to like a really small space. But because now I only have two bedrooms to work with, it should not be nearly as bad at all. So um, yeah, I am gonna go run out to Lowe's today to get some boxes and I'll probably go to Home Goods because I wanna get some organizational and like storage stuff for my bathrooms. I feel like the bathrooms was like the one area that I never really got perfected as far as like storage and just organizational wise. So before I pack up my bathroom stuff, I wanna just go ahead and like get it organized get it kind of together and that way whenever i put it in boxes i can just unpack whenever i do move i don't want to have to worry about organizing all that stuff whenever i'm unpacking that's just how i think i like to be ahead of the game <laughs> and it's like if i have energy now to do it and i have the time now to do it why not go ahead and just organize now and then not have to worry about it whenever i'm unpacking so I want to go to Home Goods to get like some drawer organizers, some little canisters for like Q-tips and cotton balls, stuff like that. I want to get some baskets to hold like linen and washcloths and you know um, hand towels, things like that. So this is a pack with me, but kind of like an organizational <laughs> video too, um, just to make things easier for whenever you're about to unpack your place your apartment your house or whatever so today is shopping getting things a little bit organized and then the next couple days will be me actually packing i have a friend coming over to help me so i'm hoping it's not too 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 bad to like get everything packed um yeah because i have not started <laughs> at all so yeah hope you guys are excited about this video i am i'm looking forward to like starting off fresh and getting a new place and being in my hometown <laughs> so um yeah first i have to get all this packed up so if y'all are ready let's go <laughs> all right so we made it to lowe's here are our boxes I always just get like a bunch and then bring back whatever I don't use. So I'll probably get a few mediums, a few heavy duties, larges, and then a few extra larges just to give myself some variety. Um, I already ordered tape on Amazon, so I don't need that. And I also already ordered like those foam slips and like foam sheets for dishes. So all I need here is just the boxes. <laughs> Okay y'all, so I got four medium boxes, 10 extra large boxes, and then I think it was like five of the large, um, which are down there. So I think all of these should cover my apartment. Y'all, it is way too hot outside. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it makes no sense at all. Oh, last time I moved, it was winter. <laughs> so I didn't have this problem. But y'all, I am like legit sweating. That's why I didn't wear anything cute today was because I knew I would be like working hard and sweating like crazy. So that's why this shows like a t-shirt and jean, jean shorts. And I was trying to let my hair, like my wash and go air dry because I knew I would be out and about today. But even my curls are like shrinking up like crazy because it's just humid and it's hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need some water. And if you guys can see, I had to put Val's car seat up here in the front with me because I forgot to take it out my car before I um, before I left and I needed like all my seats to go down. So no, Val's car seat does not stay up here, <laughs> but I just had to put it up here for like 
the few hours that I would be out so I can get all of my trunk space get all the use out of it <laughs> so um, yeah we got all the boxes in here perfectly and now I'm about to head to home goods maybe Target because I need some trash bags to like go through and like kind of sort out what I don't want to keep so I can donate it and what I do want to keep so I need to get some trash bags at some point today and yeah go to home goods to get my baskets and my organizational stuff so i'll go there first to see what i can find and then whatever i don't find i can probably find at target Here they are. Here they are. See, I need stuff like this to like keep key tips. This is only two dollars. At Walmart, this was like ten. <laughs> it's crazy. Get a couple of these. to not like buy decor because if you guys know how I am, I love home decor so I already have ideas of how I'm gonna decorate my next place already, <laughs> especially with Val's bedroom. So I was like browsing through the decor section but I said, you know what, let's say focus Alicia, we're only in here to get baskets and like organizational stuff and that's what I got. Well, minus one thing, but besides that, I just stuck to what I came into home goods for so I'm proud of myself <laughs> but um yeah so i got like a variety of baskets i got this one here this one's a light color basket of course and inside i just stored like those little miniature um containers that i got from um home goods i bought four of them and they were each two dollars which y'all i cannot believe that i found like these really cute glass clear containers for two dollars each I just I cannot believe it but yeah I just got four of those and I plan to just store like um, my sheets in here I'll probably do sheets in this basket I got a few of like the ones with the lids just to store sheets or towels um, so I'll probably use this one for my bathroom or my linen closet and then I got some over here and I got this one. The darker color baskets are gonna be for my pantry because I already have started to add baskets in my pantry area and those are all like dark brownish colors. So I wanna keep it somewhat, you know, uniform there. Um, what else? I got this cute little basket and it's like a three compartment basket. So I'm not sure what I wanna store in here yet, but I thought it was cool and just an easy way to keep things divided and organized. I also got this basket container, probably for Val's linen closet. Um, I'll probably store like her sheets in here or guest sheets. I'm not sure which one just yet, but this will store somebody's sheets. <laughs> got this basket just to fill with stuff in my pantry. It's a pretty good size. And I didn't realize that Home Goods had like basket sets, but I got this um, trio basket set for $20. And it has, of course, a small, medium, large basket, but I thought this was super cute. And of course, it's the perfect color. Then I got another one. This is more of like a square shaped and it's pretty deep. So I can fit quite a few things in here. And I love how it has that little like rounded look right here. Um, Minor detail, but it still means something to me. <laughs> uh, and then 
Last but not least, I just got another really large um, brown basket. Okay, I lied y'all. I have one more bag of stuff, um, but this one is not so much baskets for like linen. It's more so to organize like under my sink and my drawers and under like the kitchen sink. Um, so, so that is what all this is for. <laughs> um so let's see here i got two of these like stackable containers so they are just like plastic clear containers i thought this would be great to store like hair products because i have a lot of those um so i got two of those um i got these organizers they are just clear acrylic three compartment um organizers i'm not sure what i will put in here or if I'll even use them, but I thought why not go ahead and try to see if I can use them for something because they were only $6. So I got two of those. And then last but not least, I just got these really big like gray plastic baskets for um, under my kitchen sink, just to keep all of my cleaning supplies organized. So I'll probably put cleaning supplies in one basket and then I'll probably put like hand soap in just stuff like that in this basket and that is it y'all that's all that i got <laughs> um it was a lot of stuff but i will get started on organizing all of my stuff once i get val either tonight or tomorrow morning i will get started on um decluttering organizing get everything um packed into these baskets and yeah and then we should be good to start boxing everything up and getting ourselves moving <laughs> good morning you guys so it is a couple of days later than when you guys last saw me yesterday i spent all day um filming some videos so i was pretty busy yesterday and didn't really have time to vlog but i'll go ahead and show you guys um val's bathroom and bedroom because i pretty much like i didn't really pack her stuff but i got her stuff pretty much organized so i can easily just put it into a box whenever uh, my friend Brittany gets here um and i also organized her linen in, um, cabinet area so I got that done last night at like <laughs> 10 30 to like midnight and that was a lot but um, I'm glad I got that part done at least because today I want to just focus on getting my entire kitchen area packed all of my decor and stuff packed and then get my bathroom and bedroom packed it's a lot of work right now but I know it's worth it um, but yeah so let me show y'all what I kind of got done for Valerie's room her room looks so empty because baby girl won't be sleeping here anymore. So I first organized everything that I will immediately need for Valerie whenever I get to Houston. Her fall clothes, um, just a lot of her toys that she actually plays with are all right here. And then in here is just stuff for like school, blankets, um, shoes are in there. Her backpack for school is in there. Just like her immediate necessities are in these bins and just in this um, little middle section. Um, here are her toys that of course I couldn't really do anything with. <laughs> so um, those are just staying there and I'll just have the movers like pick it up and put it in the, the truck. This little section over here is the core that I want to take with me. So I have like her old lamp and just a couple of little knickknacks in there that I definitely want to bring to our new place. Um, and then I'll probably donate this because I don't really see any point of having this anymore. I need to still get her um, curtains and stuff down. Um, these bags are my donation bags so I need to get this um, over to um, a donation drop-off place. I need to pack up her basket of um, stuffed animals. Somebody is coming by tomorrow to take down these um, bookshelves. I don't have a power drill so I'll just have to like pay somebody to take this down and then like my TVs and stuff. So um, that won't be too bad. And I need to take her picture down. I'm not sure if I'll use this at the new place because this doesn't really fit the theme that I'm thinking about. But I will keep it just in case I want to put it anywhere else um, because it's so pretty. She's had this since she was a newborn. <laughs> so um, I could probably find somewhere to to use it. but if not we'll just keep it as a keepsake um for her so i also mentioned that i organized val's like linen cabinets so i can go ahead and show y'all 
um, what I did. I kind of organized like her towels and her linen and the guest towels and linen. So in this box here, we have all of the guest washcloths. And then in this box, we have all of Valerie's towels. There are a couple of more that are washing right now that I need to fold up and add into the basket. But yeah, this basket will be her um, towels. And here I put all of the guest towels in here. Y'all, this just makes things so much more organized, especially sitting in like a linen cabinet. So I'm not sure why it's taking me so long to do this, but I'm so glad I'm doing this now because I can just like take it out the box and pop it into the linen closet whenever I move. Um, but yeah, so this box is all linen. I mean, all um, uh, guest hand towels. I kept Valerie's towels out, so that's what's sitting up there. And then um, in here, I kept all of the guest towels out. This is the one thing that I didn't really plan to put into a box or a basket because they're just so thick and like heavy. Um, in here, I organized her little washcloth. I'm washing two more, so I'll put two more towels in here. And then, um, and then in here, I just put the guest um, sheets which I thought was perfect. I'll probably just throw our bow sheets in her room because she has so much space. So yeah, now that we have Valerie's um, stuff out the way, I need to tackle my bathroom and I'm trying to do it before um, Brittany comes over. So, okay, no judgment y'all, okay? No judgment at all, but I'm gonna show y'all how messy my linen closet looks at the moment. It didn't look this way like a few days ago, but it's got but it's gotten even messier this week because I have been like pulling stuff and like filming like crazy and I have just not organized um, anything at all. So it looks super duper crazy. Don't judge me, <laughs> but I'm gonna show y'all how I plan to kind of organize this linen closet. I'm so gonna be embarrassed about this, but who cares? Okay, so this is my linen closet. It looks like a crazy, crazy mess right now. Like, I cannot believe it's gotten this bad. So I have to get all of this stuff organized. Um, up there are like my sheets and just some larger towels. Right here are like hand towels and washcloth. This is the only area that has stayed organized since I have moved in and that's because I have barely touched my hair um, tools, but I have like my perm rods, flexi rods, curl formers, all those are in baskets. It's the one thing that has stayed organized. <laughs> um, right here is like a hair slash like body care um, shelf that needs to be that needs to totally be like decluttered and organized right here is just I don't even know what this is it's like a mixture of all kinds of stuff down here was supposed to be like candles and like a medicine like area but you know it's just a bunch of stuff down here too and then down here is like a basket of like my hair tools like a blow dryer flat iron etc but it's just kind of become like a pile of just whatever and down here is just extra hair that I've had from hairstyles that I've done and like cleaning supplies so yeah clearly I need to like get this all of the way organized we have a lot to do but I'm gonna try to knock it out in like 30 minutes or less that's the goal I'm gonna do a time lapse <laughs> and show you guys what this all entails and hopefully it'll look like so much better in 30 minutes <laughs>
right y'all so it's been about an hour i definitely didn't make my 30 minute um time stamp but you know what it's okay <laughs> um Brittany's running late anyways so yeah i wanted to show y'all the progress that i have made okay so in this basket here get this bag out i've cleared out everything else that was in there besides like my hair tools and here in this basket is my hand towels so those are nice and organized um over here are my candles but i'm going to go ahead and just stack these and put them in the box um later on because they will not be in my bathroom at the next place that i move um and here i just have like my hair like brushes and combs um like little small tools that i use so that's kind of what this little basket is here is my body care basket that's like toiletry stuff here i put my stackable um bin so i have like soap in here more african black soap and more just regular body soap in here and then in there i just have like my exfoliating um gloves so i have a couple more that i'm washing right now that i'll go ahead and add in that a basket once I'm done but yeah that is that shelf and then up here I just have um, more hair products that I have been loving um, hair masks shampoos all that fun stuff so right here is like my wig stuff if I want to you know sew on an elastic band if I want to sew on some clips that's what this um, container is for and yes I need to remove the um, the stickers but I've been trying to do that and they are like stuck on there y'all so I need to get some acetone and like wash or I guess take off like what I can and then wipe off the excess with acetone to get rid of all that like gunk because I hate looking at it so right now I just have a sticker on but yes I do plan to take the sticker off see this is what I mean I try to take the sticker off but it was just like too stuck on there so I'll have to like get some acetone and get all of this extra off same for right here um but y'all get the point <laughs> Um, and so in this container, this three compartment organizer, I just put all of my um, shower caps. Um, right there is just some random stuff that I've got to figure out where to put. And then up here I have my hair tools. That hasn't changed at all. So I have microfiber towels in this bottom stackable container. And then up there I have my thermal like caps that I use to deep condition on this top stackable container. So that pretty much just houses all of my like hair wraps slash you know thermal caps and then in here i went ahead and just put my um q-tips in this canister um and here is just uh body pins and um hair ties and here i put my cotton pads um and then these last two canisters this one just houses all of my hair clips that i use whenever i'm styling my hair and trying to detangle my hair so i had a ton of those so i needed a really huge canister and then in here i just put all of my cotton balls so that is that shelf and then up there i have towels towels and then in here i just rolled up all of my um washcloths so those are all sitting in there and waiting for a couple of more that i have to dry and um fold up and then in this basket i put my sheets in there i had to kind of like bunch them up for them to both fit <laughs> but um yeah so i have all of my sheets and stuff in there nicely stored away so yeah i made a lot of progress y'all i need to take the trash out because i have like two trash bags of stuff and i don't want for like there to be too much clutter in here so i gotta take that trash bag out and there's one more downstairs um but i am very proud of myself for like having took the time to organize all that because i already know i'm going to be so 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 much happier whenever i'm like unpacking hey y'all so it's later on in the day i'm with my girl Brittany, <laughs> and we are making some great progress y'all okay so um the kitchen is pretty much done and i'll show y'all how much progress sorry Brit, much pr progress we have made so here are all of our dishes i also um got rid of my washer and dryer so yeah that is all um in here all of these drawers are empty besides this one and i have to like wash some of these dishes right here but everything else is pretty much empty even the pantry is empty um 
So yeah, we have made some great progress, y'all. I have to, oh, we gotta put the Keurig up too. Gotta put the Keurig up somewhere. This food is going with me um, for immediate use. Gotta put this up. Um, taking this to Houston with me for immediate use. <laughs> um, but yeah, all of these other dishes are put away. So we're making some progress. We still gotta kinda get rid of all this clutter. But I will say like these foam sheets are bomb.com. I ordered these foam sheets from um, Amazon and we use these to like stack up like dishes and cups and stuff like that. So if you want to pack your stuff in like a very easy but safe way, just get foam sheets. But yeah, so now we're about to go tackle my next area, which is my closet. This area looks so bad right now, so I gotta go through all this and like clear out what I want, what I don't want, and hopefully be left with just what I need and what I wanna keep whenever I move. Hey y'all, so it's been a few hours since you guys last saw me. Um, honestly, I'm like sucking at vlogging today because I am just like, wanting to get everything done um i'm a little bit ocd when it comes to like getting stuff done when i want for it to get done so um i found myself like going back and forth to the trash can like 10 times um going to drop stuff off at the donation place like i have been literally moving around so much that i really haven't had time to pull out the camera um so i apologize it's just it's just a day <laughs> but um right now i am I think I'm at a good like stopping point where I personally feel really comfortable stopping. I have pretty much packed up my entire apartment. There's like little, like little itty bitty things that I can probably just throw into a box and um, that be that. But I really feel comfortable at where I am. I didn't want to stop honestly until I was like pretty much done because I knew I would like lay down and just feel guilty about not moving around if I had stopped earlier. So it's way later past my five o'clock um, <laughs> um, timeline. It is 9.07 and yeah, like I said earlier, I just been kind of running around like literally running errands um, and just moving around like crazy. So this is how my laundry room is looking, um, just full of boxes trying to get that a little bit more organized. Um, I need to have somebody take like this thing down. This was keeping all of my, um, like my mop, my broom, like all that stuff organized, which by the way, if you guys don't have one of these, you definitely want to get one because it just made like grabbing each one so much easier. And then this is how my living room is looking pretty cray cray. <laughs> um, so this little pile of stuff right here is what I'm taking in my car. Um, that is clothes that I need to still fold and put away. Um, the kitchen is pretty much all the way packed up. That pile of stuff is just like stuff for me to grab and put in my car. That stuff over there is just food and just like um, Val's cups and stuff like that that I'll be bringing in the car with me. So we got all that ready to go. <laughs> I even have her little bubbles that I know she'll want to play with whenever we get um, to Houston. So I'm packing those for easy access. Um, Y'all, I'm so mad because tonight I wanted to lay down with the bottle of wine. But I packed my um, my wine opener and this is not like a twist top. So I am like really mad because <laughs> I don't know which box the wine opener is in. So um, tomorrow I'll probably like stop by the store <laughs> and get a wine bottle with a twist cap because yeah, I need wine after this week. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, that is my apartment, the packing updates. I think that we did such a good job today. Like we've gotten probably 95% of the apartment packed and I'm still here for um, another day and a half or so. So I think I am about to call it quits because I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve to take a break for the night, take a shower. I was gonna wash my hair, but honestly, that just is not gonna happen. I would have to wait till tomorrow because I really am super exhausted and I can't even see it happening <laughs> um, right now. But yeah, I just want to lay around I don't know what episode this is. I'm like sitting here watching, it's like a murder mystery episode, but this does not look familiar. And I feel like I remember like all the episodes, but this one is not ring a bell. So I'm kind of like trying to see what's going on because yeah. 
Hope you guys enjoyed packing with me, decluttering with me, organizing with me. I know it wasn't the most like eventful vlog, but if you guys do like organizational stuff and just enjoy watching like relaxing pack with me videos, I hope this was fun to watch. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And as always, I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.